With those factory riders in place and a supporting cast of talented privateers, the gate was set to drop on the first event of the 1993 Supercross season. And it didn't take long to record the season's first DNF. Bradshaw, number eight. Craig, number 24, and McGrath, number 15, got into a first corner shoving match. Craig went down and took several riders with him. Craig was the only rider unable to continue. Now, the early leaders then were Bradshaw, number eight, and McGrath, the rookie, number 15. Then came Brian Swink. He's rider number 19. Mike Barocco was number five. Mike Kudrowski is number three. And Jeff Stanton, rider number one. On the opening lap, Mike Kudrowski was able to take the measure of teammate Mike Larocco. At the midway mark, it was Bradshaw, McGrath, Kudrowski, Larocco was stamped from the distant fifth. Then McGrath made that mistake. When he re-entered the track, he was side-by-side -side with Mike Larocco, but Larocco had the momentum, and McGrath dropped back to fourth. Now, at that point, it appeared Bradshaw began to tire. The team Yamaha ace had undergone knee surgery in the offseason. As a result, his training program was way behind schedule. Bradshaw played it smart. He maintained his pace, but drifted to the outside of the left-hand corner, allowing Kudrowski to slip by. A couple of laps later, Bradshaw moved out of Larocco's way, and he too went by. Now, Bradshaw's intent was obvious. Finish as high as possible without taxing his knee to the point of crashing. Third place points were better than no points at all. A couple of laps after taking the lead, Kudrowski made a small error that cost him his first ever Supercross win. As a result, he was passed by LaRocco, and LaRocco took the win. Basically, it was just me. I got two tenths to the whoops. It wasn't near me, nothing, and my arms pumped up, and I kind of just lost it a little bit and bobbled, and he got by. It was LaRocco's second consecutive win in the Citrus Bowl. Kidrowski, Bradshaw, McGrath, and Stanton rounded out the top five. Here's a look at the next five. We'll listen to Mike LaRocco as he talks about the win. Yeah, things worked out real good once again for me. Uh, you know, I came in the first race of the year ready to go, and if I can just carry it this year, I think uh, things are working good, so hopefully I can. Thank you very much.